guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to do my favorite products for you for the girls for months three to six. They are going to be six months old in three days and I cannot believe it. In this video, I wanna share with you all the products I've been really liking for them as far as toys go, books, bouncers, play mats, just all the kind of stuff that we use on a daily basis. So I get a lot of questions from you guys on my Instagram asking where certain things are from and if I really like them. So I'm going to do my best to answer all those questions in this video. I also did a newborn essentials. I will link that down below if you missed that. So that's all kind of like more stuff that I used earlier on, but now it's a lot more interactive types of things. So I hope you guys all enjoy this and get some Good ideas for some baby products. I love the age they're at right now. It's a lot more fun. They can play, they laugh at things. So all the stuff that kind of comes along with it is a little bit more fun too. So with that said, let's get started. The first thing I wanna mention is not that fun, but it's something I use every day and I get a lot of questions asking about what monitor we use. So this is the one that I have. It's by Summer Infant. I believe I got this from Target. It was on our baby registry. It comes with a video and then it also has two, well it comes with one video camera and then I got the extra video camera. So I have one for each crib and you can look at both of them on this monitor. So there's the on and off button. They're currently taking a nap in there. So you have the option of just doing one camera to look at one at a time or there's a setting where it's it shows both cameras going back and forth and it flips like every couple seconds back and forth between each camera. So you can see both of them. I really like this. You can turn up the volume, the brightness. We usually have the volume all the way turned down because we can hear them from our bedroom. So it's, and the, it kind of picks up the sound machine more than it does the girls. So I just have the sound off, but I love having this right next to my bed at night. Cause if I hear them crying, I can check on them really quickly and see and they're just kind of stirring or if they really need me. I do keep it plugged in most of the time because the battery does die kind of quick. But yes, really like this and I would definitely recommend it. Another thing that we've been using since they were born is a sound machine. The one we have is by Graco. It just is a good one. I'm sure there are a ton out there, but this one was inexpensive. It works. It doesn't have an automatic. I think you can do a timer. We just have it on continuously. So we have it on the ocean setting because that is the loudest one. And when they were little, we just wanted something the, something louder than the actual white noise. For some reason, the white noise isn't as loud. You have that going all night for them and also during their naps. If we ever travel with them, we bring it with us because it's just something that they can kind of count on when the sound machine goes on, that means it's time to sleep. There's also a night light on it. And then besides all the different noise settings, there's a lot of different music options too. Power, this is the one we use. You can do the timer feature. You can do, this is all the like effects and that's the music and you can hook your iPod into that too, which is cool. I actually did not even really know that. Moving on to books. So after I show these and some toys, I'll bring you over here into the living room and just show you how I have everything set up and how I kind of keep everything organized. It's a semi organized. So we keep all of our books in this. I got this originally for diapers from, I think this is from Pottery Barn. It's a canvas tote. And it has kind of like the whatever the woven material at the bottom but we go through so many diapers it was stupid of me to get this i don't know what i was thinking and this doesn't even really fit on our diaper or on our changing table so what i do is just keep all of our diapers on the top drawer of our changing table and it's actually from z gallery if you guys want to see everything in the nursery i will have a link down below to the nursery video because um, i think i talk about pretty much everything in there so i ended up just bringing this out here and using it for books because they love to be read to. It takes up a lot of time, so I read them books every single day, all the time. Usually before they go down for a nap, we read a couple books. So I'll share with you some of their favorites. I know it sounds kind of weird that they actually have favorites, but they really do. So first up, I have a ton of books by the same author. I got this one originally from our bridal or baby shower and they loved it so much. So I went online and tried to find more by her and clearly I found a lot. I don't know what it is, but they love these. They're the lip, lift the flap books. So you lift the flap and there's just little things in here and they just seem to really like them. This one is called Toes, Ears, and Nose. I have memorized pretty much every single one of these books, by the way. So there's this one. You can find these at Buy the Baby, Amazon, and Target. I've gotten some there too. 
This one's Where Is Baby's Belly Button. And this one is our favorite right now. This is called Buzz Buzz Baby. And I mentioned this in my diaper bag video. I haven't posted that yet, but I showed this in there as well. They love this page. Something about the bees makes them so happy and they always smile when they see this page. So if you're looking for some new baby books, definitely recommend some of these. I will just put a link to a bunch of them down below for you. Another one they really like is called Playful Puppy. I'll try to find a link to this. I got this from our baby shower. For our baby shower, we asked to bring a book, asked people to bring a book instead of a card and then they could just sign the book. So this was one of them and another one they really like. I Again, I don't know why they like certain books, but this is one they do. And this one's kind of cool because it has these little things that you can slide and they just really like that. Another one they really like is this one called Peekaboo Farm. It's from Home Goods, so I'll try to find a link to it, but it has really big pictures and these little pop-ups and they love it so much. I just ordered a couple different soft books because they love holding books and I figured I would get some soft ones so they can, you know, play with them without these stabbing them in the face. So this one is from Melissa and Doug. I just ordered this off Amazon. I actually didn't know how big it was going to be, but it's pretty big. And this is the other soft book that I ordered on Amazon. It's by Amazing Baby and they love this. It just has different crinkle things in here, different shapes, and they like to chew on this little thing. It's like you never know the things that they're going to like. And they, it has little teethers on the end, and they love these too. This is what we keep all the toys in. I got this canvas tote from Nordstrom. It's by the company Pear, I think that's how you spell it, P-E-H-R. And I love these little gray kind of pom-poms on here. So this is always out here. I keep this out here because we go through so many toys they just get bored of things really fast so I'm just like constantly grabbing things out of here to keep them occupied they really like this rattle this is the first year's rattle I got this off of Amazon they like these blocks I found these from home goods uh, what is the company oh infantino so you can find these anywhere and they love these little blocks to just kind of squeeze or I also lay them on their play mat and I kind of place them around so they can roll over and try to reach for the blocks. I found these little soft books at Walmart. They were $1.50, just these little Disney ones so they can just hold those. They love these little rattles by the company Sassy. Again, another thing I got from our baby shower. Here's another one of the Sassy rattles. And then they like this one. This is by Nook. It's a Minnie Mouse ear. I also have a couple of these soft ones. You can put these in the freezer to make them cold to help with their gums. They kind of get, they don't really like it that much if I make them cold. I think it frustrates them after a while, so I don't usually do that. The other teethers that they really like are, again, by Infantino, and they're the same company that has Sophie the Giraffe. So I have the lamb and the lion. They love chewing on these. They always chew on the legs, the ears, the tail. So these are a great size for them too because they can hold them, and they also like the faces. They love anything with a face and a smile. They just love that so much. One other toy in here that they like is by Skip Hop, and it's this fox. And it's cool because they can hold it. It's big, so they can keep it on their lap. And it has just a lot of different things on here that they can do. You can clip this to your stroller. It has a teether on it. It has a rattle and just a couple little things that they can chew. And they just think it's really funny. So I think it's pretty cute. Okay, next I have a couple of products I want to mention. The first is just coconut oil. This is the Nature's Way extra virgin coconut oil. It's organic and this is what I've been using actually on their bottoms. I've not had to use anything for diaper rash up until this point. Violet though was getting a little red so I needed something and I just didn't really want to use something that's full of a million ingredients. I feel like it's very soothing, it rubs in nicely and I think it's perfect for diaper rash so definitely recommend coconut oil. The other thing I like is by California Baby. It's their calendula cream and this is really good if they get a cut if they have just anything on their skin. This is a really good thing because it's great for dryness and it also helps to heal. So a couple times like they've gotten a little scratch on them and I'll just use this and it heals it up right away. Or if anything's on them that just is like, you know, babies just get like random little things. Like sometimes they'll get little like pimples or something and I swear when I just put this on, it goes away. So if you're looking for kind of like an all-in-one product that can do a lot of things. This is really good to have. I keep this in our diaper bag. The other thing I love, again, by California Baby, it's the Calming Massage Oil. I also have a couple different scents of this. This is 
a great product for dryness and also to help them calm down. I like to put this on their skin at night. So after I give them a bath at night, I'll rub some of this on their legs, on their feet, and then I'll put a little bit kind of on their temples and on their ears because I don't want to put it on their hands because they are always sucking on their hands. And I think it does help to relax them and it adds a lot of moisture to their skin too, which is very nice. These two things I keep on their changing table. This is the Baby Ganics alcohol-free foaming hand sanitizer. Pretty straightforward, but I use this every day, all the time. And the other thing is this California Baby. It's called the Everywhere Spritzer in eucalyptus ease and it is a it says for tranquil relief it helps to freshen the air there is no synthetic fragrances in here and it's made with pure essential oils i usually just like to open up the window to really get some fresh air in there but this is another good thing to have to just kind of spray around to help make the room smell a little better here's our living room i just want to give you a little overview of where we keep everything we usually have a coffee table right there, but I moved it so we can just have space for them to play. I also got this side table over there from Joss and Main just to put some extra stuff so we have some space to, you know, keep like glasses and that sort of thing. Usually we have their bouncers on the ground because we use those all the time. I keep all the books and toys over there and then over by the fireplace I have their play mat, which I'll open up and show you guys. They're bumbos, some blankets, and swaddles. Okay, so these are the two bouncers that we have. This one is from Fisher Price, and this one is Baby Einstein. They're very inexpensive. I originally wanted the ones from Baby Bjorn because they're just black and simple, but honestly, these are a lot less inexpensive, and I think they work just as fine. So this one comes with this. But the thing that I don't like about it is they can't reach this yet, so it kind of defeats the purpose, but it just clips right in. Um, and sometimes I'll just like put other toys on it, but I rarely use this. So that's kind of useless, I feel like, but it's perfect for them to just lay in. And then I just give them toys while they're laying in there. And then this one comes with this big old thing. So this clips in. And they like this one better because they can touch these, so they actually play with this. But I don't like how this like lights up and plays music because it's almost too much stimulation for them. So I feel like if I could design one myself, I would just have it like simple, like something simple like this, but have it closer to them so they can actually reach for it. I think the lights and the music is just too much, I'll show you. And it just keeps going. So, anyways, it also comes with this, it's kind of like a soft crinkle book, and it clips on this thing right here. They didn't like this at first, they didn't really use it, but now that they can grab stuff, they use it all the time, so we, you can clip any toy there, which is nice. The other reason why I like this one is I think it's a little bit more comfortable for them. It's a little bit more like deep, and they just it just feels a little more comfortable and they like looking at all the stuff. So even if they're like on the couch, they'll be looking at this and they smile at this turtle right here. They both have the option to turn on the vibrate, but I never use that. So if I were to choose one over the other, I probably would choose the Baby Einstein one, but I do like the look of this one more just because it's a little bit more simple, but I think they like this one more. And this one bounces a lot better. Like this one is a lot more stiff. Like you can barely bounce it, so. Those are the bouncers we have. Okay, this is the play mat that we have. It's by Baby Einstein, it's from Bye Bye Baby, and I love it. It's great because it's double the width of most play mats, so it's good for twins. This is great because they can play with a bunch of toys. We actually don't use any of the ones that it came with. It came with a bunch of little things that hung from this, but we just found ones that they liked more, and I just switched them out between all the little hooks, depending on where they're laying. These are by Skip Hop. They love these so much. I actually clip these on their car seat all the time when we're going places. The other ones I really like are by Bright Starts. I think I got these from Bye Bye Baby. And this one makes music, just a good one for them to reach for. And then this one down here they like because they like things that they can, you know, grab and play with. So that is what we do as far as the playmat goes, kind of just switch out the toys. And this came with the playmat. It's a little turtle and it's the same as that bouncer. So it lights up and they love playing with this now. And when they were a couple months old, they would just look at the light. So that I keep just in their toy bin now. There's so much stuff going on. So when they're on their tummy, they can push up and look at all the things, which is really 
good for them and also they like this black and white stripe a lot. We have taken this with us traveling and it's good because this folds up really nice and small and then these you can take off and um, we just kind of wrap them up. So would highly recommend this, especially if you guys have twins. I think it's been really nice for them. And what I do when I'm not using it, I just fold these two things under and then I put it back on the fireplace. So it's out of the way and it's super light. The last thing I wanted to show you guys are these bumbos. I got these from Toys R Us in this fuchsia color. I wish they had more colors. So I was kind of disappointed. I wanted like a light pastel color, but that's okay. So they have these straps you can use. And then I got these trays from Target. So you just put that on the top right there. This is a perfect type of thing if your babies are kind of in between stages, they can't sit up by themselves fully, but they're wanting to sit up. This is a good thing because it supports their body. And I do think it helps to strengthen them. I don't put them in these things for that long because they will get a little bit frustrated, but every now and then I'll stick them in here and let them play with some toys. And it's nice because I can put them facing each other so they can look at each other and they kind of try to get each other's toys. But yeah, I think it's a good thing to have at this stage for them right now because um, yeah, it's just something else for them to do and to strengthen their bodies. You guys want to say hi? Just woke up from their afternoon nap. Oh, bless you. They have a good sneeze. Um, so you can see them, what they like. I don't know how she always finds that little corner, but she does. Really? Okay, I wanna show you a couple things in the room now that they're out of there. So these are the sleep sacks that we use now from Halo. I have it in a medium. They're nice lightweight muslin, so you just zip that up. And they like it because it's kind of like a blanket. They can kind of hold it. And I think it's just like kind of cozy for them. So we have two of those. Oh, oh. <gasps> what is it, baby? Oh, bless you. <laughs> so we don't use the dog to toss anymore. I just took them out and they're just in their cribs like normal, which is crazy. It's so cute to see them rolling around. but. I wanted to show you these little bumpers that I got from Target. They are kind of mesh, so they're breathable. And we got them because uh, when they roll, their arms go through the slats. So this way that, you know, they don't get stuck. As far as clothing goes, I put them in t-shirts and leggings most of the time. So I like Target, Baby Zara, Old Navy, and H&M. Those are the places that I shop. Also like rompers, just one piece types of things because they are comfortable and easy. And then we use these all the time, these cloth diapers for burp rags and swaddle blankets. I swear I could never have enough of these. They're amazing. And I just got this blanket from Little Unicorn and it's so soft and I really like that a lot. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new, I'd love if you would subscribe. And that's it for today. So I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.